What makes Jack Ross the right fit for Dundee United? But importantly, what makes Dundee United the right fit for Jack Ross? I think the, um, I think the club, in terms of feeling as if the club's the right next best opportunity for me, is born out of I think the chance to continue to progress it, the opportunity to do so. Um, feeling I think instinct's important as well. So that feeling that I had from the first conversations it felt like this was the right move, and that's continued the further conversation in the opening days, and then. I think for me, I've continued to evolve and progress as a manager. I do feel that I've got a record that shows that I've improved clubs um, and delivered relative success to them and improved players. And it's kind of really the, how I see the job. My job is to make players better. And then if I do that, then I make teams better and we win the games more often than we lose them. So that that outlook hasn't changed and it's what I want and what I want to and what I need to deliver here. European football at Dundee United, was that a big influence on your decision in coming here? Um, it's a bonus. Um, uh, it's nice to have the opportunity based on somebody else's good luck. So it was, it was, it was Tam and Liam's and players and other staff's work last year that's allowed me to have that opportunity. But I um, you know, I think I was on record as saying it last season that I loved doing it at Hibs. It was a brilliant experience, very different. Um, different in the challenges it presents in a number of ways just wanted to have more of it and you know at that point I was thinking right okay that'll be with Hibs again it's not been having the opportunity so quickly with Dungeon United is brilliant and as I said not through my work but through somebody else's the challenge now is to stay in it as long as possible and then ensure that you're there every single season. Do, do you feel that your experience is coming through from Alloa to St Mirren to, to Hibs do, do you feel that's been a good building ground to, to where you are in management now? Yeah I mean I've done nearly 300 games now and I've mentioned there I'd, different size of clubs. You know, the move from St Mon to Sunderland was probably the biggest learning curve for me because that is, you know, in terms of stature of the club and everything that goes along with it, you know, marked difference and a lot of different challenges that that presents. Um, so yeah, I think you become more comfortable in your own skin. Um, I think the one thing I know is I'm still <sighs> desperately driven to be as good as I can be as a manager. I think if that ever goes, then I'll stop doing it. Um, so I've been I'm a football fan first and foremost, and I've been I've been blessed that I've had the opportunity to do as a player. Then in management, I had the opportunity to manage some good clubs and some big clubs that carry expectation and demands with it. But I've kind of embraced that, and I'll continue to try and do that here. You've come to a club where, for the last 12 months, the, the giving the youth the experience mm. in the first team and, and and getting them out there and the pitch. How important is that for the club to evolve like Dundee United? That that type of Youth development continues to the level that it's at. I think it's um, I think it's clear in terms of what the club I, um, did last year. Um, I think they have seen the benefits of that in terms of players being recognised at international level and in, in their age groups. And then it will come with interest in player sales because it's part of a trading model at a club. But I think every manager and head coach can can say the right things in that respect. I think it's very easy to do it. The good thing I, I think now with my experience and my record as I've done it, you know. From St. Martin, from Lewis Morgans and Stevie Mallins and Kel McAllisters all moved and, and generated funds for the club to Josh Madges and Bally Mummers at Sunderland, to Josh, Doy at Hibs. If the players are if I, if I believe they're good enough they'll have that opportunity and then it's about me nurturing them and helping them improve and not just as players but as people because I think the development of somebody as a person helps them go and um, enhance their career and take it in different directions. So I'm aware that there is a group of young players here that have excited people and have been given opportunities about now me having eyes on them myself and, and trying to steer them in the right direction and give them a, a further platform to improve themselves. Last one for me, it's in connection with the fans. You spoke earlier on about the relationship you want to, mm. to build with the United fans and take it on. Having looked at social media already, it would appear that you're becoming a bit of a cult hero before you've started the job with, with some of the things that have been... Oh, that'll up change. Do you, re you reckon that'll change? <laughs> no, do, that's do, just the nature of football management. Do, do you uh, <laughs> have a message for these these fans who are uh, obviously keen to see you in the job? Are, are, you were the sole candidate and, and they were the ones who were speak, yeah, speaking that, about all the time. I think the, the thing for me is, it's I, probably like I spoke about earlier, you know, talk, talk can be cheap at times, but I am um, respectful of football because I love it so much and you know, ultimately I'm I've got the privilege of doing the job of being head coach at Dungeon United, you know, a club that you know I grew up with. I was a football child of the 80s, if you like, where this club was 
you know, hugely successful, and so that is where I associate the club with being. So I understand, you know, that expectation and history, but also then the, you know, that passion the fan base has for its club, and ultimately I'm only custodian for as long as I'm here. But in that period, I'll do my utmost to deliver success, and then hopefully, whenever I depart, people will reflect on it and say, you know, there was improvement and there was a legacy. So you know, legacy people think is dramatic and it's something huge, but it is. I will be hugely respectful of being in this position, as I said, and, and be as driven as I can possibly be, deliver a period of a consistent success. You, you had a couple of opportunities before you came and agreed to, to mm. come to Dundee United. The refusal of one of these might be part of what creates the euphoria with the fans. Um, yeah, I mean, I think there's a lot. There's a lot of conjecture goes around, and, and you know, over the last five to six months, I've not really through me, but through other people, because I don't really read very much now. Um, as a manager, I think you. You have to train yourself not to do that, and you know I'm aware that there's been associations with a huge number of things. And to be fair, there's truths, half truths, and no truths, and and varied in a variety of them. So, um, for various personal and professional reasons, no opportunity either in Scotland or England has felt quite right for me. But this one did, and so excited to be here now. And as I said, looking forward to getting back to work because it's been it's been a while now. Jack Ross, head coach, Dundee United, sole candidate for the job. How did he tick all these boxes? Well, I think you can clearly see that one, he's, he's, he's a good person, and I think when, when we look at recruiting people within this football club, they need to be a good person. And, and Jack has, has proved I've known him for a long time, since his days as a player, and I know he's a good, good type, good family, good upbringing, good values. Those are key attributes to what we want at Dundee United Football Club. Then you add on to his experience he's had, his success he's had, and I think. I think, I mean, to get him, I think it is a coup because he's, he's a very successful managerial career. You know, he's, he's been to cup finals, he's, he's, he's been to Wembley, he's been to Hamden. He, he understands players. You know, the amount of players I've had text me and the amount of people outside the Dundee United have texted me how good a guy is, it's, it's unbelievable. So I think he's he is good. I think, do I think, I think I can add to his development, I think I can make him better. I think uh, part of my role as sporting director is to give him tools to make him a better head coach, a better manager. But I think he'll give the players, he'll give a lift to all the football staff and the non-football staff with something of his stature. How good is it to get Jack in at this particular time ahead of the players coming back so that he's got them from day one when they come into this new season? Well, I think it's perfect timing. I, th I think just now where he's come in and we've been able to spend quite a lot of time together to, to prepare. He met with the staff the last two days. They've been preparing pre-season. They've, they've been looking at the, the targets that we already have in, um, for recruitment. So it's perfect timing. I think sometimes when managers come, it's usually on the back of, of unfortunately, a sacking. We've never had to do that. We've always had it. In, in a transfer window, yes, we have a turnover of managers or head coaches, but we've done it strategically so that we give every opportunity to that head coach, and Jack's no exception. And I think giving him that time, he's got fantastic ideas. He'll meet the players um, all on Thursday, uh, t tomorrow, so it's, look, I think we're, we're in a real good position with Jack. Looking at what you've just said there, Dundee United, clearly a development club for both players and for coaching staff, and that's now becoming established, obviously, that people are coming in for your, your staff in all directions. Yeah, we first put together our, our, our strategy of five years. We, we knew that if we were going to be successful, we we're going to lose people, and, and that's the, that's our part of football. It's certainly our part of Scottish football. Um, so we have to be aware of that. We have to understand that. But we have to create a stability, and that stability is kept in our processes and planning, um, and keeping a continuity through the club. Perhaps my role as sport director allows that. Um, but with, with Jack and myself, we've already talked about not only looking at the short term, which is the head coach's role, but also for him to start looking. Long term, and we've, he's going to work alongside me on the long term strategy as well. And, and Jack will bring something different to Dundee United that they've had from the, the previous managers that are there, and, and hopefully a very progressive type of football that he'll bring. Well, absolutely. I, th I think you now when you look at the, the managers in the Scottish Premiership, there's a lot of experience there. There's, there's, you know, there's a lot of good managers there, and you know, Jack adds to that, and, and in my opinion, um, has already achieved. Um, a lot of success and I think he'll add even more success to the United Football Club and hopefully the supporters, the, the board and myself will all give him that support.